Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am super excited about. It's this makeup look that I have right now, as you guys can tell by the title, by the thumbnail. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Let's go right into this look. As you guys saw, I did use the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. This is so good. I got it in my Sephora play box and I really want to buy the full size when I'm done with it but I feel like there's so much. Every time I'm like I'll buy the full size and then something else comes in and I want that. So I love the Sephora play box because you can really try out a lot of like pricey items and they last you like a month. So I feel like that's enough to really get a good feel if you like it or not. Now I'm just going to add some brow gel. This is the Gimme Brow by Benefit. Brush up these brows. And then we can move on to eyeshadow. Oh, I also failed to mention that I did go in with the RMS. This is called Master Mixer. This is so good. I love a lot of products from RMS, but I like to put this before I do foundation. You can kind of get heavy with it since we're going to cover it up anyways. But it's such a nice way to still get like an inner glow coming through, especially if you use a matte foundation, which I'm going to do. So we are going to jump right into the eyes, and I'm going to use this eyeshadow primer. This is by Hard Candy. Kind of like a nudie base, just to neutralize the eye and make sure that all our shadows are going to stay. Put that right on top of our lid. And smear it all the way up. Do you look at this huge bug bite? I can't. So I'm going to be using two palettes today. First is the Naked palette. I love this one. It has a lot of great shimmer shades, a few matte shades, but this one that I'm going to be using as well, the Kylie palette. I swear, this is like my favorite palette of the year. I'm going to take this fluffy brush and use this color here. And I'm going to put that. The good thing about doing your eyeshadow first instead of foundation is you can kind of like mess up when you can just clean it up after so I'm kind of going out kind of messy you know because I know I'm gonna clean it up anyway and then I'm gonna even take some and bring it down I can't wait to put concealer <laughs> then I'm gonna use this little guy and I'm gonna take the dark brown Just create like a liner, like a baby cat eye. Not like too intense, so you can just blend, blend it out. But you do want it to feel like put the dark brown just on the outer, like you don't go all the way to line it just on the outer half. Again, we're going to take a makeup wipe and just clean everything off so it doesn't matter how messy you get with this. Just as long as everything is blended and looks very diffused. And I like to just kind of keep building and blending. It's just easier so you're not making too many errors and, you know, wiping away and stuff. I blend sometimes like this or windshield wiper. Kind of do both. So you see how it's getting that like nice diffused, that's what we want. I want to really sharpen it here so it has like those, that little feline flick. Such a Charlotte Tilbury word. So I'm going to take the dark brown from the Kylie palette again, this one, and I'm actually going to hit the black with just a little bit because I want it to be a little bit darker. Again, it's totally fine if it looks kind of chunky because we're gonna swipe it up. I feel like this is such a cute way to do a cat eye. It's actually not as hard as like trying to do a liquid liner. It looks a little more soft and pretty. Even though I've been really loving the cat eye liquid liner. So now we're gonna take the Naked palette and I'm gonna take Half Baked. It's this really beautiful golden color, and this actually came with the palette. So this brush is really nice. You know how usually they suck? The Naked palettes have good brushes. So I'm going to take it with this flat brush that came with the palette, like I said, and just pat that to the inner half of my eye. And then it's nice because it has the other side, and you can just blend it out. I 
adding this lighter shade, especially because it is shimmery, like light reflecting, it's gonna make our eyes look more open and wide. I just think it's a better look. It's just starting to give you that like really pulled out cat eye. And then from the same palette, I'm gonna take Smog. So Smog is this brown here, another shimmer shade. And it kind of just gives it like a dirty sheen, but I love it. I love the color Smog. I kind of overlap the gold and then the black slash dark brown that we had there. So now we can take our makeup wipe and I'm just gonna kind of clean. I don't wanna get too close because I like the smokiness of it, but we can just kind of clean up this line. When in doubt, blend it out. I'll come back to the eye. Sometimes I get so frustrated and I just have to like come back to things because I need to like step away from it. I'm gonna add a little bit of this again, the RMS, because maybe I swipe some of it off and I really do want my skin to look luminous. So now we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna take the Double Wear Foundation by Estee Lauder and I'm actually an Estee partner. So exciting, like such a major brand and it's just so cool to get you know the opportunity to rep a brand that is so iconic just so huge it's like i can't believe it so i'm just gonna do that and the shade that i am is ivory beige they have so many shades in this double wear line so you'll definitely find one that suits you what's really nice about this you guys know i don't really love matte foundations you can always have like a dewy complexion still though using highlighter but usually with like dewy foundations the thing is like you have to set it a lot with powder this one i don't really need to set and it lasts all day and it still is very skin like so that's what i love about this foundation like it does not budge and you can see it like totally covers, but it doesn't look cakey. Because you don't need that much. I'm like, is this my color? Did I get darker? I need to like blend this. So I'm gonna use the cover up by, or the uncover up by RMS. This is like my favorite concealer at the moment. Just wanna brighten a little bit under here. And then I'm gonna take my cream bronzer. I love this bronzer. This is Chanel. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna oh, look at this bug bite. It's so ugly. And just warm up my face. It's like my favorite bronzer. For blush, I am gonna take this one by ColourPop. I'm not sure what color it is, but it looks like this on the apples of my cheeks. I'm also going to take a little bit onto my nose. I want to make this a little bit darker. So I'm going to take more of this dark brown, mix it with a little bit of the black. But now I'm going to take it on even a finer, this is like for your eyebrows. The line a little bit more. A little more intense. To give my skin a bit of dewiness, like radiance, I'm gonna take this by Laura Mercier. This is called Seduction, and it is a face illuminator. So yeah, that's basically what I wanna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this brush. Just kinda like kissing my entire face with this. And then I'm gonna hit my face with the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin. 
And now let's do mascara. I'm gonna take the Ico Lash Alert and what I'm gonna do to apply it so I still kind of maintain that, you know? I'm gonna brush all my lashes to the side. If you guys wear false lashes, you can kind of concentrate the lashes just on the outer. Or like you can do individuals just on the outer half of your eye. I think I'm still applying it to the front, but I'm just making sure that they're all going to this direction and that direction. And I'm gonna apply some to the bottom as well. So for lips, I'm gonna use this one by NYX. It is called Morocco. And it is like an orangey red. I feel like this color looks so good with these like golds and browns. The only thing is that they kind of dry your skin. Like they dry my lips out so much. You know, I kind of want to try this one. This is the Pat McGrath. I just got it. Um, in the VIB sale and it is so beautiful. It kind of has that reddish orangey vibe as well. Ugh, this one goes on so much smoother. It still kind of has like an orangey undertone to it. I am gonna use a little bit of powder. This is by Pop. Set everything. I tend to sweat around here so I just kind of apply powder there. But not least, I want to add a little bit of highlight here to my brow bone. So I'm going to use the color Virgin from the Urban Decay palette. And that is it for this makeup look. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's super easy, honestly, like all of my makeup tutorials. You guys know this already. I always say it so, so much, but it's because I am not like a professional or anything. I feel like you don't need a lot of product, but you can still get a really like good, like a look still, you know what I mean? It's not like super natural or anything like that, but it still feels like me, like I'm not covering myself up. So I really love those kind of makeup looks. If you guys do as well and you're not subscribed, subscribe because that is all I do here on this channel. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You won't be disappointed. Mm, hey, this lips kind of stays, huh? For being creamy. Not bad, Pat McGrath, not bad. Yeah.